Good morning, students. Today is May the sixth, Wednesday. For the mindfulness section, we'll do something called the Thought Busters. So I want you to sit down and pay attention to the thoughts going on in your head. To make this easier, first sit for a couple of minutes and breathe in and out. Focusing on the breath entering and leaving our nostrils. Then pay attention to one thought in your head. Watch the thought. Watch how it changes. Then imagine poking the thought with a pin, and watch it bust and dissolve. We can learn that. Thoughts come and go; they aren't necessarily reality, and they can easily change or dissolve. So let's say a morning prayer together, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. During the quarantine, families try to do a lot of new things. There's so much creativity to keep going, but sometimes there's also domestic violence. Let us pray together for families that they might remain in peace, with creativity and patience during the quarantine. For this intention, let us pray, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the month. Of May is the month of Mary, so today we'll talk about Mary again. And as we all know, Mary is the one who gave birth to Jesus. So at that time,、uh, before Jesus was born, the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus. Wanted to know how many people he was in charge of. Caesar wanted to know how many people would be paying him taxes. Every man had to go with his family to his hometown to be counted. Joseph's family was from Bethlehem, so he traveled with Mary from Nazareth, where they lived, to Bethlehem. Mary was pregnant when they started the journey. They didn't have cars or planes. They did have a donkey and their own two feet to travel. The city is full because of the census. They have to stay in the stable because there's no other room available. A stable is like a barn. It's where animals were kept. He didn't have a crib. Jesus was laid in a manger. A manger is like a trough where animals ate out of. The Son of God, the greatest person to ever come to this earth, was born in the most humble of places. Did you ever wonder what Mary was thinking? After she gave birth to the savior of the world in a poor dwelling, did she complain? No. She kept so many things in her heart. How amazing was this! We always place Mary close to Jesus, don't we? That's where she belongs, just like us, close to our Lord. What we learn today is 
Mary gave birth in a place that more of us wouldn't even want to step foot into. She was selfless, placing others before herself, and she stays close to the Lord, just as we should. So that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll show you a video after this. Goodbye. The angel Gabriel went to see a young Israelite woman named Mary, who was engaged to marry Joseph, the carpenter. Don't be afraid, Mary. God is pleased with you. You will have a baby, and will call him Jesus. He will be the Son of God. This was a big surprise to Mary. When Joseph heard that Mary was going to have a baby, he didn't know what to think because they weren't married yet. But God sent an angel to talk to Joseph in a dream. This baby is from God. Name him Jesus. He will save people from their sins. When Joseph heard God's plan, he married Mary. When everyone had to register in their hometown, Joseph took Mary to his hometown, Bethlehem. But the town was busy, and there was no place for them to sleep. Finally, Joseph found a stable. And that's where God's baby son was born. His first bed was on the hay in a manger where animals were fed. Nearby, sleepy shepherds were watching their sheep. Suddenly. An angel appeared in the sky, so bright. Don't be afraid. I have good news for you. A baby was born in Bethlehem tonight. He is your savior. You will find him lying in a manger. Then the sky was filled with angels singing. The shepherds hurried to find baby Jesus. They told Mary and Joseph everything the angel had said. There were also royal visitors from the far east, three wise men who had followed a bright star. They bowed to worship and gave expensive gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.